So now we are going to see some basic tools for modeling, mesh modeling, and especially meant for organic modeling, such as my characters or any other organic uh, model. There are not too many tools that I use when modeling, but I use them all the time. So, and there is also a little video in this DVD where I, I it's a time lapse where I make a character from scratch, from starting from a cube. So it's also good uh, if if I explain them there here. There's also a little on the corner, left corner, top. You can see when I press any key that it will be displayed over there. So just keep an eye on there, just in case I miss to, to explain something. So I'm going to start with a circle, because I don't really need a, a, a... I could start with a cube, but it's not the best option to explain some of the tools I'm going to explain now. So a circle with 8 vertices will work. Move it up a little bit. Extrude with the E key, and that's it. We could, now we got a, a cylinder, or so. So we need to cut this. I want to to cut this cylinder in pieces first. Well, I want to add more resolution. Actually, if I want to bend it, I need more resolution. So I will use this loop. Th we, we see that it has a loop on the top and on the bottom. The, uh, the vertices, the edges, form a loop. So the faces in between them will form a loop of faces as well. So we can cut right there by using mesh, edges, loop subdivide, which is also called loop cut. For example, in the K menu, it's called loop cut. Also, it's available through Control R. And that's it. Now, when you use these tools, you, you will see this pink line over there, which doesn't have many options now, but actually, in a more complicated mesh, you will see that it actually uh, shows the all the loop through these faces and where you can cut. So, we will just cut on the middle. And if you move the mouse wheel, you will also get multiple cuts. As many as you see on the header, number of cuts, and there you see. So for now, I think uh, seven, it's okay. You just left click to accept. And that's it. Now we got a um, better resolution in our mesh. By the way, if you, there is actually when you use when you don't do multi cut when you just do a simple cut. This tool has two steps instead, one for selecting the loop and the other one for choosing where to put it. You can see that it's measured by percentage, so zero will be exactly the middle, and then minus one and up to one. Minus one will be here, will be bottom, and one will be uh, top. If you want to cut right in the middle without worrying about this, just press middle click. But we don't want this actually now, we already have enough cuts there. So I would like to bend this. Oh, I have view texture. Solid text, yeah, just disable from the view properties. That's it. So we don't have to worry about normals now and stuff. So I want to edit this. I want to bend it. I want to do a sort of arm or no, not an arm, but something like that. Just bend it. So what I could do now is just take the base, the bottom, the vertices on the bottoms, and then use proportional editing, which is the O key or just the little 
icon, the orange icon from the header. As you can see, whenever you move or scale or rotate, you'll see this little circle around it. It means the influence or vertices or transformation is uh, has with the other vertices around it. For example, if you change this falloff to constant, all the vertices inside the circle will have all the same intensity when you move them instead of smooth, which has a more smooth uh, fall off fall off from the center of the of the circle to the edges of it. So I want to rotate actually using as a pivot this, the the middle of my object, and since I have the cursor already on the middle on the center of it, I could just change my pivot. To uh, use the to use the cursor there, which is the dot, the period um, shortcut. You can move it around. You can use it whatever you want. But I want it in the center of the world, in the coordinate zero 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 from x, y, and z. So I just press Shift C, and that's it. So I will try to make some interesting shape here. We'll try to at least. Okay, enough I think. So this will be our arm or so, and uh, when you have cloth on, or if you, if you have a lot of skin, um, you will have like wrinkles in there, in the middle, right? Where I'm pointing, you will have like a little wrinkle, a wrinkle a li at least. So whenever you bend your arm, so we're going to model that. We're going to fake it. I'm going to select the faces on this, uh, on this, uh, yeah, the, you change your mode, your selection mode with control tab, or from the icons on the header, there. So, just select those vertices, and I want those down there, so I just press B for rectangular, or B twice for uh, brush selecting. So I want a wrinkle down there, actually, now on the top. So I'm going to extrude these vertices, and by default Blender tries to extrude them along the normal, the direction of each face. But I don't want that too much, so I will just put it down, then scale, around the medium point, which is uh, the center of our selection. I don't want proportional, so just press O. Scale a little bit. Now we could use another tool, which is a really cool one, which is called Shrink Flatten. It's a uh, Alt S, it's a shortcut for it. Instead of scaling like from the center point, like I'm doing now with S, or from the cursor, as we did before, or medium point like now, which is the center of the selection, we could just, if you select something else, you will see that Blender draws a little dot line on what he thinks is the middle of our selection. I wanted to scale it along the normal of each face here, so I will just Press Alt S and see what happens. Each face is scaled individually along its normal. You can see there. So now we got our wrinkle. Little bit. Let's add some soft surf modifier, which you can also add with Shift O or Control One, Two, Three, or Four to change the levels. 
So we could either try to make this a little bit more stronger there, or we could use the new loop we uh, we got around these vertices, which is I think is really useful now. If we do Alt S, it will make our wrinkle for us. If you have some hard edges right there, you could just smooth them. Use the smooth tool, which is uh, another tool I use a lot on the one modeling always. Just W for specials and then smooth. Whenever you press W again, you will uh, Blender will put the the option right below uh, your cursor, so you can just W click, W click, W click, and repeat the action as many times as you want. So let's set smooth. It's in the same menu, W. So now we got a wrinkle. Yay! try to do it again so you can see it once again so now I want to do the wrinkle right there I'm going to do it a little bit more quick so I should select the vertices, remove those, I don't want them. And just extrude. I don't want it along the normal too much, so just a little bit. Then scale down with S. Just a little bit so we have some margin there. And now Alt S. Let's see how it works. You can always tweak as much as you want. Don't expect to <laughs> for the wrinkles to be automatically made, but it helped a lot. This ring flattened. So now, if you see it in wire <coughs> wireframe, you see a clean mesh. Nice with our wrinkles as well. <laughs> Scaling, shrink, flat, uh, shrink, uh, flatten as well. It is fun. I actually love modeling. So let's see another tool, which I often see. It's another thing I see when. Uh, uh, when people that just start with 3D or Blender or so, they they don't use as, that many polygons. I don't know. It's like I remember when I started, I was like afraid of adding too much uh, resolution or too many polygons to my to my mesh. So after a while, you may you you lose that uh, like, like afraid of adding polygons or so. And you just keep adding polygons, like if you want to make this this part a little bit more thick, just add a little bit more. If you want some wrinkles there, you can just add as many as you want as well. Use lap cut, loop cut, and that's it. Scale, move, now loop cut a little bit more, scale.
and just that as many as you need or, or until your computer says please stop so this is about soft surf modeling after all so you can see here the soft surf effect when two vertices actually we are only controlling a few vertices here so that's another cool thing that you can add as many polygons because you are actually controlling some of them not all of them so this interpolation there as you can see we are actually working with a lower resolution mesh that's because of the subdivision and the type of subdivision you can see that every face is actually four faces As you can see I will enable the cage editing so you can see it better there every face is actually four faces in level one of subdivision subserve and the Cadmut Clark it's a rounded thing actually it's an algorithm that rounds the surface using a formula some complicated things going on mathematics and stuff but here you can see that you can also use the subdivide the simple subdivide which I used in uh, Firulo as well I used two subserves if you check the blend file you will see that Firulo has one simple subdivide for the sharp edges and a Cadmon Clark subdivision both has for uh, rounding these hard edges afterwards so let's see another small tool to finish but really powerful one you know you can just cut uh, vertices, cut faces, cut edges, you can join them but for example what if you want to join something like this you will if you want to merge these vertices you will just press alt M for merge oh by the way there is a special menu for this for vertices for edges and for faces they all have their own menu which is for faces it's a control F and you get all the face specials for edges is control E and for vertices obviously control B V from vertex so now let's try to do the merge alt M you have options like at first or last that's for the selection like first selection last selection center cursor so let's use center for now and you will do this with all the vertices there which is a little bit of a pain now let's fix the normals yeah Control N to fix the normals, the, the direction where the faces point. So luckily we have a cool tool which is called Snap. And whatever you when you're moving or rotating or scaling and you hold control, Blender will snap it to whatever is behind your con your your uh, your mouse, your cursor, sorry. So you just left click to accept and that's it. Now Blender uh, put the little vertices above the other one but they are overlapping, they are not actually joined. So here you could just select that, go to the specials menu with W and then press remove doubles. But it doesn't help that much, right? It's like the same amount of work. So it's just some matter of enabling uh, auto merge editing. from the mesh menu which is a pretty new option I think it's 2.46 or 7 so that way you can just move and control 
hold control and then just accept for all devices there but still it's a lot of work so for this simple shape you, there should be easier ways to do it right you could just select the entire loop hold control oh, let's fix the normals again You could just right click on the se to select the entire loop and then just move and then press control to to snap it and accept and it will join everything there is another way to do this actually you know you can make faces with f or two edges if you have a if you have vertices you will make edges there's an option for this which is called in F once you have this this amount of uh, loop like two loops this amount of vertices you can just use the uh, skin faces edge loops what if we try it here on the top there will it will say no over top no over loops found why because this is a loop that closes itself it, blender doesn't, doesn't find any two loops like correct loops with the same amount of vertices to to join them so let's see it clearly now if I select two edges like here blender will attempt to um, to close it if I select a lot of vertices blender can't close it but what if I instead of selecting all of th all of them I just select everything but the ones on the border so now we blender will try to join this vertice with that very with edge sorry those edges these two edges if you press F of course the, the edges on the sides will be joined as well but they are not being selected now it's uh, little trick or I don't know if it's a trick or the normals again <laughs> control N recalculate yeah it's a little trick actually because blender doesn't let you uh, do it other way if you do it in the in the edge selection mode blender lets you choose this kind of make you this kind of uh, weird selection but if you are on the vertex selection mode uh, Blender doesn't let you do these weird things like selecting some edges and some others not so here I'm doing a pretty weird example of uh, what would be a semi complicated shape to join and Blender actually finds its way to join it oh the normals are wrong and this it a little bit there I, it actually worked it's just the normals are were wrong so just select again the loops and then press F and blender will make the path for you there okay they were really moved so let's fix the position of it a little bit but it's entirely made uh, automatically you don't have to join every little phase manually that's that's really cool So that was for modeling.